For a limited time only, you can get The Athletic for £1 per month for six months. See the link in the description to sign up now. Fluidity in football is another way of describing the freedom of movement that players have within a tactical system. Some managers prefer a more rigid, structured setup that requires positional discipline. Others prefer players to rotate positions in order to create fluid, flowing attacks. You see, this fluid movement helps to make a team less predictable and therefore, in theory, harder to defend against. Player rotations or players swapping positions creates confusion in opposition defences, drags defenders out of position and ensures the ball can move from back to front as there is always a player free to receive. Rotations are different to a winger swapping sides or a striker switching positions with an inside forward. Within a fluid passing move, players will adjust their position multiple times. For example, if the base of a diamond suddenly runs to overlap the wide left, the wide right will drop into the base while the wide left moves across to the wide right, thus maintaining the shape and ensuring that there are always passing options available. In coaching sessions, these sorts of movements are often introduced in drills, advanced in small-sided games like 3v3 or 5v5, with parameters set on the game to ensure it's focused on movement, and then applied in training matches. However, to make it work, players need a strong tactical understanding and chemistry with their teammates, as well as good off-the-ball movement combined with technical skill to ensure that they can receive and pass under pressure. When a team has repeated this enough times in training and matches, the movements become second nature. Rather than just reacting to a teammate leaving a position, players can anticipate and sense when to move early to make things flow. For it to work, players should be fluent in different roles so as to ensure the team isn't weakened by having individuals out of position, like a centre-back on the wing or a target man striker in midfield. This is why Manchester City have so many similar players in their starting eleven at times, with Pep Guardiola's two false nine system including Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, Ilkay Gundogan, Riyad Mahrez and Phil Foden across a front line which can interchange roles as though automated on a computer. Yet Guardiola is actually more rigid as a coach than it might seem. City's beautiful interweaving football might look free-flowing, but it's been rehearsed, honed and executed by high-level players to their coach's design. It's only really in the final third that the players have freedom, but even then the team maintains its structure. So, although it's fluid, it's also highly structured. Conversely, a team like Burnley, coached by Sean Dyche, doesn't have quite the same level of talent available and so playing a defensive, rigid system in which the ball goes long to a big striker, then out to a winger who looks for crosses into the box, suits the players available. And it has been consistently successful. In a fluid system, a turnover high up the pitch might lead to dangerous counter-attacks as the team has to adjust back into an organised defensive shape, which is why so many teams who play with fluidity also tend to press in numbers immediately after losing the ball to prevent this from happening. More rigid teams like Burnley will certainly practice fluid movement in training, they just don't have so many opportunities to show it off when they're out of possession so often. Atletico Madrid are another example of a team that we think of as structurally rigid. Yet, when they break forward on the counter, the movement and interchange of the forwards helps with chance creation. You see, all teams are capable of this kind of movement, and even the most defensive and rigid of systems still cater for players interchanging positions during quick passing moves to help confuse a defence. When it's done correctly by an attacking team, fluid football can be mesmerising. But, as plenty of managers and teams have shown, that doesn't always guarantee success. For a limited time only, you can now get The Athletic for £1 per month for six months. During the Euros, we've had guest articles from the likes of Yaya Torre, Scott McTominay and Emma Hayes to add to the work of our writers David Ornstein, Michael Cox, Amy Lawrence and many, many more. The Athletic is home to some of the best football coverage online. Plus, you can watch TIFO videos and listen to TIFO podcasts on the app completely ad-free. So, join us at The Athletic today and sign up for £1 per month for six months. Thank you for watching today's video.